Hello Benjamin, this is going to be your video on how to operate your lightsabers. This is a gorgeous package. It comes with these two sabers. You've got the display stand. You have all the things I showed in my TikTok videos of the unboxing. Um, I also have the blades here for you and the batteries. And then there's also a charging, uh, charging box for it. That's currently in its shipping container. So I'm not going to show that off to you, but basically you just plug it into the wall and then plug these in and you've charged it. And obviously, uh, this is for the smaller lightsaber, this one's for the bigger lightsaber, and I'll show you how they go in. There's a few things you should keep in mind on how to make sure you don't break anything, and just general rules on how you should uh, operate it all. I have a lot of stuff written down in the description, such as the controls for this, because this is a one-button setup for each one. So I have the entire, the entire list of con controls and commands in the description. I also have resources to go to uh, customize your profi, to do your own blade styles, to set up your own configs, and how to set up your computer to accept the configs and upload it to the, pro uh, to the profi. So I have a bunch of resources there, a lot of things to keep in mind, but this is everything I can remember right now. The first thing I will go over is the fact that you do have two different pommels, little end caps, as you can see in here. At the moment, I have on the sound vented ones, the ones inside here are the, there's easier ways to get to this, this trying to get around the camera stand is a bit tricky, but this is the more, I guess, screen accurate pommel that doesn't have any venting, but trust me, you will need venting because this has no other sound venting anywhere else. It will be incredibly silent, so this is only for display. This one would be for when you're playing around and messing with it because this allows the sound to escape. So for now, I'm gonna leave these in the box here, along with the challenge coin, so you can see. And I also have the two tools in here for you to use. One of these is gonna be useful for the blade retention. So just keep that one in mind. It's gonna be important. I'm gonna use my own tool for this right now so I don't have to unpack yours. So I guess we'll go straight into the lightsabers, unless there's something else I can think of. Um, I guess I'll show you the, the other stuff you have coming in the container. You have the little letter with the certificate of authenticity and what number it is out of what was made. And this, I believe, is a polishing cloth. You could use it for either the saber, although I think more importantly, you'll need it for the mirrored display stand. So. You're going to want to use your tool to undo the blade plug first and foremost because this might help a little bit in removing the chassis. There you go. I also sanded in here in order to allow the blade plug to slide freely because before it kind of got stuck a little bit and that's because these little pins here were sticking out a little bit too far in here so I just sanded it down and now it works great. As you can see, the blade plug just slides in and out perfectly. So when you're gonna remove this, uh, the most important thing to keep in mind is the buttons. So that was the thing that took the longest and why these savers couldn't get completed until like a couple weeks after I have the parts is because it requires magnets to hold it in place into the chassis inside and I had an issue with the glue. I'll show you what I mean. But when you take the chassis out, you're going to want to unscrew the pommel, take it off, and then unscrew this one, not the cover tech, which is the part you hang onto the belt here. You can tell because there's a little bit of a gap. So if you just unscrew that and then turn this upside down, make sure your hand is here because the, um, the button's going to fall out and just shake it a little bit. Or if that doesn't work, you can always just do an easier method and just stick your finger in here. Don't press on the pins, press on the stuff outside the pins. So just push that down and as you see, the button falls out because the magnetic force got disconnected. And then just push it out. There you go. It's a lot easier than this. Um, you're, you can literally just hold it and then shake it a little bit. And, I can't do it with enough force while in this position, but here you go. This is your chassis. I'm going to put this back real quick. You're going to notice that 
things tend to rattle a little bit when the chassis isn't in place. That's because the chassis allows everything in the lightsaber construction to be held in, and I'm not sure exactly why he chose to go that way, but that's just how this whole thing's designed. So this is the chassis, really tiny speaker. We've got the kill switch over here, and then you have the button. So the button here, as you can see, has the magnet. It's a tiny little neodymium circle, and I was having an issue because I was trying to use E6000 and I didn't have any other kind of glue, so I would try and put it on, but then it would cover a bit too much, so it would be hard to press and you wouldn't get this tactile sound. See? So I ended up buying some Loctite. I forgot exactly what kind, but I used a very, very, very tiny, tiny little amount, put it right on, and then it dried super fast, and look at that. It has a beautiful tactile feel, and it would be pretty hard to pull it off. I don't recommend trying to pull it off, you don't need to, and that would kind of mess things up. But essentially this is how it works. You're going to want to take your, your battery here, negative is the spring, positive is towards the board. Uh, something to keep in mind is do not ever plug in the profi board to the computer while you have the power on or the battery in. I've heard you can fry the board and obviously you want to avoid that. I would buy a 90 degree uh, micro USB, that way you never have to slide this out, but how you do that is you just slide it a little bit and then it goes along these tracks. And if you slide it more, you can then pull it upwards. But definitely get yourself a 90 degree micro USB so you never have to do that except for maybe accessing the, the SD card. But if you take the board out, be careful. Uh, don't pull too hard and don't strain the wires. So just put that in and then you turn it on. Sometimes it might take two. Not exactly sure why, but sometimes it messes up a little bit with that. So you just, if it doesn't turn on immediately, just do it once and then do it again and it'll be perfectly fine. So we've got tap once to turn it on. We've got the blast deflect, if you just tap it, you hold it for a few seconds, it'll turn off. And then you have two gesture controls that you can customize yourself in the config file pretty easily if you ever need to, but you can gesture control on, which is swing on, and then you can turn it off by twisting it. So, you just slide it into the lightsaber itself, make sure that these two little uh, indentations go right in between these two knobs because there's screws on either side and then you're going to want to line up the button with the hole there and you'll see the magnet and then I like to tighten it a little bit and then put this in place and then tighten it all the way and if you feel any resistance from screwing this in uh, because it's running up against it just unscrew this loosen it a little bit and allow it to push the chassis all the way up. And then all you have to do is put the button right on there and it'll stick in, it won't come out. That was the swing on right there. Sometimes that's hard for me to trigger, hold on. Especially with such a tiny lightsaber. Oh, I guess it just won't work like that, so. Let's try that again, it was a bit confusing. So you can swing on and then... Huh, why is the twist off not working? There we go. Okay, for some reason it just wasn't working properly. So swing on and then twist off. You're, you'll get the hang of it. Clearly I don't have the hang of it. So I have the independent, independently wired NeoPixel connectors in there. You can see it going in circles, that's my, that's how I programmed it. You can program it to do whatever you like, but this is the one I like the most. Here we go, just going in circles. And it'll change colors depending on the blade. So when you have a red blade, this will be red, etc., etc. Right, let's just do that. And then of course you have the chassis detection, or the blade detection in this case. So just slide it in. You'll hear the connect sound and then it'll be switched to a, oops, 
switched to a working font, you're going to want to tighten this down so it doesn't disconnect on you. There you go. And then just tap it once, turn it on, smooth swing, fast blocks. If you want to have a clash, you just hold it down and then smack it. If you want to stab, you just hold it and then stab. That's tip drag, and then you have hold it and then stab. Hold it and then stab. There you go. And then you can twist it to adjust the temperature. There you go. And you'll figure all of this out. It's just based on the angle and you hold down the auxiliary button. And then if you double tap and hold, that's lightning block. Um, what else is there? All the controls are again going to be in the description of the video. Just hold it down. There you go. And if you want to switch fonts, when it's off, just hold it down for like, I don't know, half a second and release. Blue. And now you're in blue. And then if you want to go backwards on a font, you just hold down for like three seconds Green. and release. One, two, three. Blue. Oh, that's still forward, so. Green. Or you could just hold it down. Oh, I found a different control. So I guess if you just hold down the, the button, it'll go to... Oh, shoot, no, this is... <laughs> so that's my bad. Uh, this is a blade style that I have set up before green. So this is the last blade style. This is the battery, um, battery blade style and battery font. There's nothing to the font except just that sound for when you get to it. But this will indicate where the uh, power level is. The higher up it is, the more charge you have, and then... Obviously, the lower it gets, the less charge you have. So let's go backwards a little bit more. Team C. You could just hold it down and not release it until you hear the sound. So just do that. Smooth gray. There you go. Do it one more time, and I'll get to the thing I always show off. Rainbow blade. And then I'll go forward. Smooth gray. Team C. Green. There you go show off color change. So you just point it down and then uh, hold the auxiliary button. Sorry about that. I didn't notice that I ran out of space on my phone, so I deleted some videos and now I'm good to go. But I think where I left off on the video was color change, so you didn't get to see that. So you just point it down, hold the button and twist, and then you're in color change mode. So then you can choose whatever color you want. And then when you want to select it, just hold down the button again until it beeps, and then you've got the new color. So I'll just return it back to green for you. Point it down, twist, and then let's head to green. I think that's green. It'll look better in person than it does at the moment on camera. Sorry, press the button. So I think what I'll do now is just go over this one. I already unscrewed the pommel because that's the next one I was going to do. Again, uh, the easiest way is to press down on the very edge of the chassis and push it out. And again, keep in mind, it will detach the button. So try and keep it away from anywhere you could lose it. So then you should just be able to slide it out like that. Easy peasy. This is the chassis. Again, don't plug in the board to the computer with the battery in. You'll fry it. Uh, what else is there? This has this massive channel here. So that'll be again for putting it in the lightsaber. You just line up the button with the buttonhole and then make sure that the channels are... Okay, I am so sorry. I don't know why this thing keeps cutting out. I had to restart my phone so hopefully that fixes things. But I think where I was was you slide this in, make sure the channels are in place. If the power doesn't turn on immediately, turn it off, turn it on, and you're fine. Make sure that lines up. Uh, screw in the pommel. All the way. There you go. Make sure that's tight. And now you are... I think this is at about 60% volume, so you can raise it to somewhere near 75. Anything higher would be unsafe for the speaker. 
but you can try it if you want for a little bit. Uh, so we'll put in the blade. That's blade detection, and then you just tighten the retention screw. If I can do it right, there you go. And then you have the blade. And all the controls are exactly the same on both lightsabers. It's just programmed slightly differently for the different blade lengths. So I'll have the, the config files for each lightsaber in the respective SD cards. And then if you ever need to, to edit it, I do have all of the resources in the description of the video. And one more time, in order to turn off the lightsaber, just unscrew the pommel. And then unscrew this knob that's not the cover tech. The easiest way is to reach into the emitter and just push on the, the edge of the chassis. And make sure you keep in mind where the button's going to be falling. There you go. Pull it right on out. Turn it off and take the battery out. So that's pretty much everything you need to keep in mind for your lightsabers. Um, I will go over one final thing. So I'll do a quick cut and then I'll show off some Bluetooth. Okay, I'm back. So this is the Force Sync app. This is the one that works with Profi. Um, basic controls are on and off, clash, lockup, tip drag, force effects, if there's a force effect on the font. And then you can adjust the volume, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the most important thing though to keep in mind for Bluetooth is when you do download the Force Sync app and then you detect it, it'll come up as BT909 or FSC BT909, I think, I think is what it says. And the it'll ask for a code for the first time and that'll be six zeros, so zero, 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 zero. And then it'll work. It shouldn't ask you anymore for the code. And then that's pretty much all you need to keep in mind for that. You can swap presets. And I believe he's working on an updated version of the app, so just uh, try to keep updated to it. It's stock, custom works, for sync, whatever. I'm sure there's going to be an update to it, but I'm sure they're going to add a ton of new features. But super cool. You can also play music too. There's a music track. It depends on whether the lightsaber has a music track, whether the font has a music track, and of course you can edit all of that yourself in the config files and whenever you want to add your own custom fonts and such. All of that will be in the description to help you out, and if you have any questions just let me know. I will be available for whatever questions you may have. If there's any issues, um, I will try and help as best as I can. I hope you like it. You get a whole ton of cool stuff here. Um, it did take a little bit longer than I was expecting, so I'm sorry about that, but I did manage to make it work just how I want it with the buttons and everything. So I hope it all works out for you and you get as much enjoyment out of it as I have so far. You'll probably have even more enjoyment out of it because you'll get to play around with these all the time. So I think that's probably it. If I forget anything, I'm going to put it in the description of the video or send you a message through Instagram. So, hope you like it, enjoy, and may the force be with you.